Barsisa was a great Abid from the time of Banu Israel. Great Abid, great pious man. He was a monk. And nowadays, a sheikh. And my brothers, as I share the story of Barsisa with you, don't think of Barsisa, think about yourself. Put yourself in the shoes of Barsisa. Barsisa was a great scholar. Someone who worshipped Allah, very pious. The whole community knew about him. He had his own, his own temple where he worshipped Allah day and night. And three brothers, they wanted to go in jihad. But they had a sister. And they said, you know, if we go to jihad, who's going to look after our sister? So they said, who better than Barsisa? He's a great Abid. He fears Allah. Everyone, you know, he's of high esteem. Who better than Barsisa to look after our sister? So they came to Barsisa. Now look at the trick of shaitan. Look where it starts, my brother. They came to Barsisa and said, Barsisa, we want to go for jihad. And we're wondering, can you look after our sister? So Barsisa immediately says, when I'udhu, he says, I'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim This is shaitan. No way. So the men were disappointed and they left. Then shaitan came to Barsisa. He's not shaitan. Today he's our sheikh. So we'll call him Sheikh Shaitan. So Sheikh Shaitan came to Barsisa and said, Barsisa, brother, what are you doing? These men, they want to go for jihad. They're going for good. They're going for the sake of Allah. Barsisa, if you do not look after her, who's going to look after her? You are the most noble, Barsisa. You are the most pious man. If they leave her with someone else, what do you think will happen? So Barsisa says, maybe I should look after her for the sake of Allah, for the sake that these brothers, look at the trick of Shaitan. When Shaitan knocks on your door, Shaitan does not want you to open it fully. Just a little peep, a little, who is it? That's all he wants. A little crack. That's all shaitan wants. Shaitan has all the time in the world. Shaitan wants a little crack. So he calls the brothers back. He says, listen, for the sake of Allah, I will look after your sister, but she will not stay with me. But sister was a man who feed Allah. He was a genuine man who feared Allah, my brothers. Now I want you to think about yourself and relate this story to your life. He says, I will not keep your sister with me. She will stay in the house I have at the back of my temple. She will stay there and I will stay here. The brothers agreed, said no problem. The brothers went to jihad and Barsisa would cook some food for her and put the food outside his door and make her come out from her house, come all the way, grab her food and go back. Look how much he feed Allah. But what happened? He already opened the door. So this happened for some time and shaitan has plenty of time on his hands. No problem. Take your time, brother. Take your time. Until eventually, Shaitan comes to Barsisa, he says, Barsisa, don't you know that when you put the food outside, she has to come from her house, walk all the way to grab her food. And this is a fitna, people can see her. People can see her. I think you should put the food on her doorstep. Makes logic sense. So Barsisa cooks her food, goes to her door, knocks on her door and comes back. After some time, Barsisa, uh, Sheikh Shaitan says to Barsisa, says Barsisa, she still has to open her door. 
put the food inside the house. So this happened for some time and the brothers took long. Now Sheikh Shaitan says to Barsisa, he says, Barsisa, you know, it's been a long time. This woman has no one to talk to, no friend, nobody to socialize. Maybe you should talk to her. Otherwise she will go outside and Allahu Alam cause fitna outside. For the sake of Allah, huh? not for, no. <laughs> Brother, for the sake of Allah. So Barsisa, now he goes to the house. Look, he still fears Allah from outside the house. He's talking to her. Shouting and she can't hear him properly. And after some time, Shaitan says, Barsisa, why, why are you embarrassing yourself? You're screaming and shouting. Go inside the house and speak to her there. My brothers, after some time, he started speaking to her inside the house. What was a little conversation became a longer one. After talking, now he wants to see. After seeing, he now started to touch. And after touching, the great Barsisa committed to him. How many of us, maybe we have not committed zina, but we fell in the same footsteps of Barsisa. Now he's committed zina. She falls pregnant. She gives birth to a baby boy. And shaitan now comes to Barsisa, says, Barsisa, <laughs> brother, bro, if the brothers come back and see this young boy, and you were the one who was responsible for looking after him, how will you explain the boy? Now he's worried. He says, what do I do? He says, Barsisa, you have to kill the boy. You have to get rid of the evidence. So Barsisa kills the boy. What do we have now? Zina and murder. After some time, Sheikh comes back. He says, Barsisa, do you really think she's going to keep quiet about what happened? Do you really think she's not going to tell her brothers about what took place here? He says, what do I do? Kill her too. Zina. And double murder. The brothers come back. Barsisa, where is our sister? He says to them, Inna lillah wa inna ilahi rajiun. Sister, she became very ill and Allah took her life. But sister is a great Abi, big sheikh. He does not lie. The brothers had no other option. They said, Where is she? He showed them a fictitious grave, a fake grave. He said, This is where she is. They made some dua for her and went home. The next morning, one of the brothers, he says, you know, I had a very interesting dream last night. The other brother said, I had an interesting one. What did you see? He says, I seen in my dream that our sister was not sick. Rather, she felt pregnant. She had a boy and her and the kid were murdered. And I seen that she was not buried where he showed us, but she was buried somewhere else. So the other brother says, Zina Ajib, I had the same dream. So they said, both of us cannot be wrong. They went to where they seen in their dream, they dug up that, that grave there, they found their sister and the baby there. They went back to Barsisa, they said, Barsisa, you lied to us, this is what took place. And now we're taking you to the ruler. Now on the way, Barsisa is looking at himself, he's thinking, how did I get in this mess? Zina, double murder, and now I'm going to be executed. So, when they bring him to the ruler, Shaitan comes to Barsisa in the form of man. He says, Barsisa, do you know who I am? He says, no. 
He says, Barsisa, I am shaitan. And I am the one who caused you all this mess. And I'm also the one that can get you out. He says, Barsisa, I can get you out, man. I have a lifeline for you, Barsisa. He says, anything, get me out. He says, Barsisa, you make sajda to me. You make sajda to me, Barsisa, and I will get you out. So Barsisa, he makes sajda to him. And Sheikh Shaitan says, thank you very much. It was nice knowing you. Assalamu alaikum. And shortly after, he was crucified. Him. The last action in his life was what? Shirk, kufr to the highest level.